hello friends welcome to c sharp intermediate to advanced tutorial now you are watching part 5 of the video c hash rich text box control here we are going to see how to set bold italic and underline font i mean font style to the selected text so in this video we are go we are going to cover content style section so these are all the slides from previous parts of the video i mean previous parts of the sub series first we learned about the rich text box uh, basics then we talked about the example and what this example will do then we implemented saving the rich text document so we learned about the save file method while using the save file method we picked the file name using the save file dlg and you learned save file dlg as well as the show dialog methods then we implemented the code for uh, saving the content after that we moved on to loading the rich text and uh, text file content to the rich text box control in this video we are going to see how to format the text so that the plain text becomes the rich text so rich text box allows content formatting we can select a portion of text then apply bold italic uh, formatting style so here in this example we are going to look at bold italic and underline formatting style but uh, there are uh, multiple style that you can apply for the selected text so that will include color and uh, other stuffs font font style there are many uh, formatting stuff you can apply so the key here is the selection font property so we will use this uh, selection font property to apply our uh, uh, to apply bold italic and underline property for the selected text so what happens let's say this is your rich text box content let us assume each line here as a word and now we will say that user is selecting a particular portion of the text here so what happens they can apply the font style for the selected portion and this is selection font property will give uh, this is the selected text right it will give property uh, font property that is related to the selected text so here we can apply uh, the font behaviors like uh, i mean font behavior in the sense of font styles so bold italic and underline there are other properties as well strike through color and uh, those other stuff also you can apply but here in this example we will concentrate on these three font behaviors all right so from this selection font one can apply or revoke font style so apply or revoke in the sense say for example here the portion of text is selected right let us uh, say that user applied a bold font for the selected text so we can once again select the same portion of the text and we can revoke this bold font so apply also possible and revoking the uh, style also possible so in our example um, we know that we have uh, 
three buttons right one is bold and another one is italic and another one is underline so the same way you can select this text you can select the text then let's say you applied italic style and then the next time if you select the same portion of text which is having the italic style applied already and uh, let's say you are clicking the italic once again so what happens previously applied italic will be removed so these buttons bold italic and underline this will act as a toggle in our case that means first time it will apply the style second time if you click on the same selected portion it will revoke the already applied style and once you click again it will reapply so when we go to the example you will understand how we implement this but uh, the key concept here is we will use the selection font selection font in the sense it won't give font for all the text it gives the font for the selected text so here the sample code is shown only for the bold if you see first we are invoking rt dot selection font so we are having that inside a font reference so rt dot selection font will give us a font and we are storing that here in the selection font and when it is not null what we are doing is we are constructing a new font and remember this is the event routine for the bold button click here we are creating a new font selected text font that means let's say here portion of text is selected and the selection font will give us a font object right so if you see here we are constructing a new font maybe this one whatever it gave let's say it's f1 here we are constructing a new font f2 selected text font that means the very first parameter what we are giving is selected text font so here we are constructing a new font here once again we are giving the previous one f1 then selected text font style here if you see we are this is the key part here we are using the xor operation that means in the xor operation we are supplying the bold so let's say that xor means it will have a bit pattern style that's the key we are accessing from the font property font style we can say selected text font style apply bold so let's say when bold is applied it will be the a specific bit that it denotes this bold will be turned on so if you apply the font style again the bit will get inverted then if you apply again this will be turned on so this is how we will toggle this bold style on a selected portion of text so here we are constructing a new font and we are giving the bold font itself but we are this time we are changing the uh, font style so that it will be in the same font but the style will get applied that means bold style will get applied and if user selects the same portion of text and uh, clicks the bold button again the select in the selected portion of text the bold will get removed because here we are performing the xor operation right and remaining stuffs are same if you see we are making use of this uh, selection font once again The same stuff is going on here and only difference is here is the font style right here we are doing the 
uh, XR operation for italic. Here we are doing the XR operation for underline. So in all three cases, we are constructing a new font and we are setting that to the selection font. So that means when user clicks bold, what happens? Our event routine will retrieve this font F1 and constructs a new font F2 and assigns that back to the selected portion. So this new font will have a new style. That's what here we are doing in each cases. All right, now it's demo time. We will go to demo and see how this is implemented. So here is our sample. Previously, we implemented save and load. Now we will implement the content style. So I'm double clicking bold. Italic, then underline. So if you see the event routines are the same. So when these event routines are same, you can extract a function out of this and you can make use of those function call in all the cases. But since it's a demo and I don't want to do all those code formatting, you can do all those your stuff. Here we are just learning the rich text box control and we no need to look for coding standard when we are learning this because writing a function and invoking it it may divert our learning all right now if you see we implemented the click event for bold italic and underline and in all cases we are making use of the selection font property then we are assigning that to a font then we are constructing a new font and when we are constructing the new font we are making use of our old font then style only we are changing right then the new font we are applying back to our selection font so first we retrieve the selection font and then we construct new font with the styles applied or revoked then we are resetting it back to our selection font now let's see how it works so first we need some sample text right so first if you see here we selected a portion of text and we are clicking bold and you can see the bold is applied for the selected text and for line 2 I am applying italic then for third one I am applying underline all right for fourth line of sample text if you see here we are applying bold since we told it's a bit pattern the selected text i mean the let's uh, scroll it down the selection font property will give the font of the selected text and here i am applying bold then I'm selecting the same text again italic and if you see this time since it's a XR operation there will be a separate bit field for uh, the style property so that bit field will get set so now we can say for the selected portion of text first a bold is set then italic is set now if you want you can even set the underline so in the selected portion of text if you see all three styles are applied here here bold is applied italic here underline is applied now we will select the bold text here and click on this bold icon so what happens it will retrieve the selected uh, font i mean the selection font will retrieve the font for the selected text and when i click bold again 
selected text font so we already have the selected text font with us and we are performing the XR operation for a bold style what happens is the previously applied bold will get removed and that removed style will set back to the selection font property so if you see here when I click now it revoked it and the even more surprising stuff is if you see here here already three style is applied right now I'm selecting this uh, text first I am uh, revoking the underline then I am selecting this again and I am uh, revoking the italic okay let's uh, try that uh, again this is line 2 right here I am choosing italic italic will get removed here I am choosing underline underline will get removed so just now you saw how we can apply bold and italic underline style for the selected font and how to revoke it that's all here in this video thank you for watching bye